All right, another principle of Wing Chun that we should talk about is one of the main principles. There are many idioms and Chinese phrases, which I, I really don't speak Chinese, Cantonese, but some of them I remember. One, it's called Loi Lao, Hoi Song, Lat Sao, Jik Chun. Most pretty close. And that basically means take what comes, follow what goes, and then strike through a loss of contact. So take what comes, follow what goes, strike through a loss of contact. All right, and that's kind of the principle of Wing Chun is you get more used to doing things like doing Qi Sao, doing partner drills, even doing blindfolded Qi Sao where you close your eyes and then when you feel a motion or a loss, you can strike. I mean, everybody's got, even with your eyes closed, it's actually good practice. I should do it on the dummy some more or striking. People have two arms. What's at the end of the arms? The neck. Oh, you know, what's in the middle? The head. Boom. What about when you got arms? Boom. Groin or abs. You know, once you get used to the human body, when I'm in range and someone grabs me, even if I can't see or it's in the dark, I know that this is the arm, wham, there's a head attached to it. Um, so those are good principles, like you learn how to flow. Um, sometimes you can't overcome a stronger, larger opponent. I mean, a lot of times they're too big, too powerful. Wing Chun is not only about meaning force with force. You want to have force and power. The stronger and more powerful and faster they are, that's awesome. But if someone is overpowering you, there's wisdom in letting them come to you to take what comes. Maybe a strong punch you can't resist, but you can step to the side and as you pull the person or use your laps out, you can strike as they pull right into your strike. You know, trip, bam, right into your strike. So you flow into attacks. And in the time, you just you flow from whatever to whatever. You don't always have a favorite. You just kind of do what feels good or right at the time and you just act fast. That nice flowing style of strikes reminds me of Krav Maga, what they call a uh, Retsev, continuous combat motion. So depending on where you are, your next move follows up with another move, like a boxer might, you know, follow up with hooks after, you know, who knows? Like, whatever you are, you're in one place, maybe then an elbow, maybe then a kick, maybe then a headbutt, maybe a groin shot, I don't know. Like, in time, you want to be able to flow from attack to attack, so sometimes the dissipation of force is better than meeting force head-on, especially if someone's larger than you. So you have to be part, part strategist. Some is power, explosiveness, speed, athleticism, but then there's also the chess master mentality too, mentality. And of course, when possible, uh, don't get into bad situations in the first place. Let your ego get control. Be gracious, low key. You know, try to get along with others. And uh, if you can avoid a conflict, that's the greatest honor. Everybody does better. Um, but if you need to defend yourself, to be safe, to get to safety, or to help someone else, it's good to have skills.